Hi, I'm Steve from Living Maths, and this is my colleague Brad, and we are out here at Grahamstown to facilitate maths and science workshops, and in particular, we're also going to be running the Global Cardboard Challenge Day. People ask us quite often, you know, what has this got to do with maths? Because we're a company living maths, and now we're building things out of cardboard. Uh, what people don't realize is maths is a much larger field than what you learn in school and sometimes even in university. It's all about problem solving and that's why we, we're always looking for opportunities to present problems, real world problems to kids and allow them to come up with creative solutions. It is our goal to spread the gospel of mathematics and numbers and the problem is that if children don't have a positive experience with maths at school they're not going to want to pursue it further on in their high school career, and certainly not at university. So we want to try and breathe some life into the maths, and hence the name Living Maths. We actually make the numbers come alive. What we found is that there's no such thing as a child who can't do maths. It's just a child who's not motivated enough, or has got a, a certain, you know, some teachers don't make it as exciting as it could be, because they've also lost their passion for mathematics. When you're at primary school and preschool, you get to interact and you get to play with things and it's very hands-on. As you start getting older and you start moving up in high school, they start moving away from the art lessons and they move away from the interacting and it's all about getting through content and curriculum. And that stifles creativity. So we're trying to bring the sexy back into creativity. We would love to try and get an into schools cardboard challenge, and that's something that we're going to be discussing with uh, Anya Bruton, the, the uh, SciFest director. We want to try and encourage her to uh, get the schools involved. So things that the SciFest would normally throw away, we were happy to reuse. We often go to shopping centres and ask them for things they're not going to be using, and we take advantage of that. We Because it's so accessible and cardboard is everywhere, it's an easy thing to do. You just get a group of kids together, get some cardboard and let them play. <laughs> 